Welcome to Love Them Knives channel. I say that every time, don't I? But yes, welcome to the Love Them Knives channel. What do we got? Of course we've got the Ganzo FH31 in D2. So hold on. Thanks for dropping in. Ganzo Firebird FH31 in D2 Steel. It just keeps going. I mean, it's like the Energizer Bunny. Um, wow. Ah, deep carry pocket clip. And look at they've got a nice little blocker plate. You know, when they were going on the FH11, which this was the first model I remember that came out in D2, way back, like two months ago, <laughs> whatever it was. So, And they started taking this logo out and drilling and making a left hand available, but a lot of guys go, I'm right hand and I don't want those holes there unless you're putting a blocker plate in. Bingo. Bingo. There's your blocker plate. So this is right and left hand. Ooh, a liner lock, matching G10 backspacer. G10, is that contoured? It's flat and milled. So I don't know if I call that contoured necessarily, but yeah, it's not contoured necessarily like this is, you know thinner here top and bottom and kind of so it's kind of a, an oval around type thing this is the fh21 what a party we have here huh so in any case and i got this one i've i've had this for a few weeks got it from power cutlery yes you can get it from fast tech haven't seen it on gear best yet really strange seen the fh11 on gear best and the fh 13 oh god it hit yeah knock them together now uh fh 13 ss which is this black washed one haven't seen any of the other models but these two on gear best strange power cutlery that's where i've been getting mine they're in and out of stock at power cutlery so you can always click on contact us wherever at the bottom of the page because you can see that they have Firebird Ganso. I think these were about three pages in on that list as I was searching. And they have other names of, you know, they've got Enlan, Saturn Moo, Harns, things like that that are not typical and why start that, that are carried by a lot of online retailers in the U.S. $2.99 flat rate for shipping. And I bought two knives from him and even three at one time and only got charged the $2.99 so it wasn't per knife it was per shipping so wow that was great a little late to the party on the detent here as you can see here it is and so as far as trying to get that drop to drop your your my thumb is blocking it so I've just got to push it over the detent uh ball and then let it drop it's you know, I haven't taken these, this one apart. Actually, I did take this one apart. So this is a G10 model. And yes, it's laid to the party as well. It's just the way they, you know, the, the design goes apparently. So in any case, I'm going to send an FH31 and an FH21 um, sitting over here uh, in... For steel testing, the FH11 we did, and it was real D2 steel, and it was an HRC of 61. So just keep that in mind. That's how that turned out, okay? Uh, I don't think I'm going to send in the FH13. And uh, let me see if I've got... Oh, yeah. Hold on. I've got lots of stuff floating around. And the FH12 which I haven't reviewed yet or put on video. I don't know if I'd call my stuff a review necessarily, but you know, there you go, black uh, G10 backspacer.
but so this is your alternate to the you know to the 13 which is more of a black wash but right in hand left left and right hand tip up carry available okay so and then this one no left hand option uh early on there was one that was an option on this and then people wanted the one without the holes because by and large people are right-handed so they quit doing that and went back to this go figure so they're trying to be responsive to uh, consumers requests but then they get requests going both ways so um and so i know it can be frustrating thank god i'm not a knife manufacturer <laughs> i think it'd be insane uh deep carry pocket clip right or left hand obviously here's your laminate carbon fiber obviously some people it drives them crazy to me i think it's <laughs> do you like carbon fiber people go yeah yeah sure well do you like g10 oh yeah I, yeah i like g10 it's r really strong and durable and you know corrosion re i mean chemical resistant and all that well, what if you put them together ah, i hate it <laughs> so well this is a 24 25 dollar knife right so I think it gives you kind of a classy look of carbon fiber and then the durability and strength of G10. So I don't have a problem with this. Usually I don't necessarily get it unless um, it, it th there's something um, to be had by getting this. This one kind of gives it a classy look, I get. But then what you're missing is this, you know this contouring or this machining that kind of gives the handle a little bit more style and you're going flat now uh, which in this case might be okay actually where in other cases like this would not be good if it was just flat i mean this contouring and then this uh, machining really makes it this one the FH21 what it is and it's really good and it's not late to the party with the detent and it has an incredible drop I've had four of these now uh, in my hand and they all have just incredible action really cool oh by the way by the way yeah that's what the FH21 looks like disassembled so yes they have steel bearings on the pivot of course you don't have to worry about steel washers because you have steel liners here and it's very simple there's no skeletonized scales here that kind of thing now we're talking about the fh31 supposedly today and so look at this how crazy is that that looks like ceramic bearings to me i looked at them and i'm going where, where did we take the left turn from this to this? Because I'll guarantee you, you know, those are ceramic and those are steel. So on the FH31, let's see. And that looks ceramic too. So we'll see. Uh, going forward, I'll disassemble any future models. I don't know of any particularly past the 31 but it'll be interesting to see why they did this. You know, why did they upgrade the bearings? Or if you think it's an upgrade, which to me, it's not that important. And here's the FH11, by the way. And those were, this was the first one that came out to my knowledge. And then regular steel bearings and a regular steel detent ball with incredibly good action, I might add. So let's let's do something uh semi-intelligent and get uh rex out here come here rex rex you the big high dollar boy and so let's get a measure on these for comparison to begin with obviously the fh31 is a smaller knife and i believe the dimensions are pretty much in line with the fh21 okay so these are under eight inches and the blade length is like 3.38 supposedly so these are supposed to be the same size and you know what they do look like they're the same size 
absolutely. Um, obviously a big taller blade on this, different blade shape. Um, but it's smaller than the FH-11. A little bit, supposedly. Now, let's do a let's do a measure off let's start with the fh12 which is the same as the fh13 probably the same as the fh11 which might be more important to actually measure here um three and a half okay so that is a longer blade and eight and an eighth overall uh 20 and a half centimeters so let's get our uh fh11 out here but I think we're, we're right in the same ballpark here. Yeah, three and a half and 20 and a half uh, centimeters overall, eight and an eighth. Yes. Okay, so the FH 11, 12, and 13, all these three, same size. Okay, so let's start there. And then these, obviously smaller, which is... Uh, you know, they're under eight inches, but about, well, oh, oops, what if we don't pop it there? They're off. Okay, seven and a half, seven and five eighths, somewhere in there to almost seven and three quarters, and uh, 20, okay, 20 uh, centimeters, and I keep losing it here. Um, 87. Uh, three and three eight. So yeah, three point three five, three point three eight inches as blade length. Smaller knife, smaller knife. Now, uh, well, let's do this. Let's look at the blade stock. Let's see where we can go. Uh, eighth inch, point one two three, three point one. Okay, next. Get on top of this. 3.5 on this one. Strange. How about this? These are all probably the exact same. Let's get it at the fattest point, though. 3.3. <laughs> wow. So, thinnest blade stock, next, and fattest. Go figure. Why would you do that? That's... Uh, that's really strange, isn't it? Yeah, 0.122. 3.1. Okay. 3.5. 3.3. Ah, yes. I love it. Uh, you know, and, and the drop on these is, is good, too. It gets past the detent ball. So if you want a flipper toy, the 11 or the 21 is your knife. Oh. Yeah, you know what? The 21 scares me a little bit because you're right. The flipper tab's not very tall. And by the time it gets past the detent, you're right here. And that has actually fallen and cut my thumb once. So this one, I do not trust. This one is probably the best as far as security going. It's already passed. And if you like just doing that kind of thing, this is your knife or these would be as well. These are frame locks, obviously, not liner locks, but you see what I'm saying. And right and left hand. Here you've got a go forward position with a front choil. So that's nice. Here, you don't. Here, you don't either. So this is the one model with this kind of go forward position on it sharp like i uh, may not have said i'm going to send this in for testing with the 21 as well so we had the 11 tested gonna skip the 12 or 13 but uh the 21 and the 31 i'll have tested just uh to confirm the d2 and also uh, see what the HRC is on these particular models and see how much it might vary because we just tested one of the FH11s and it was HRC 61. Does it jump around a little bit? 
every brand of knife I've seen so far, it has jumped around. So I've never seen, except the two Spyderco Para 3s that I had tested were exactly the same HRC, but the Buck, Smoke Jumper, and Shield were not. And those were Boz Heat Treat knives. And any of the others, no, they haven't been the same. They have jumped around significantly, so that's interesting. Um, I'm going to have some other Spider Coast tested as well, as in, in addition to HRC, and we'll see where we are there. In any case, smaller knife, it's sharp. Let's go to the uh, to the scales. This is interesting design, though. I had to get it because I really thought this kind of uh, ooh. Warncliff looking blade, whatever you want to call it, was interesting. A departure a bit, maybe, for a Ganzo Firebird. But interesting with this plate. Also interesting, they went back to this blued hardware, which I think some people just thought it was a little cheesy. I think when it first came out, I thought it really looked classy um, and interesting. And now, I'm not so sure I'm really... Uh, need that especially if you're not going to do the rest of the hardware that way then you just got to pivot mm, so I, I don't know if I see the point there uh, get the scale out shut up get the scale out ah, yes and here we go let's start out let's go back to uh, ounces let's start with the G10 FH31 okay right at four ounces fh21 Ooh, lighter well of course not as tall a blade and a little bit longer well no not longer but okay and there we go the fh11 and 12 or the fh12 and the fh13 ss about the exact same weight as this but they're actually a little bit bigger knives. And then the FH11 has G10, and that's about the same too. So the FH21 is actually lighter, although it's the same size overall length. But this is, so this is a little bit lighter if you guys, actually if I had to pick from all of them, I, I think I'd do this one to tell you the truth. I know, it's probably the lightest, but it's also got uh, great action on it. If you got to watch out for that, got to watch out for that dropping on you. You drop that way, buddy. In any case, but I mean, it's just, uh, I like the contoured scales and everything. I think I like, I think it's my favorite design that Ganzo has made. It's really lightweight, easy to carry. You could do some piercing and nice tall grind for slicing. So that's really cool. This one's hard to beat too. This one, yeah, it'd be a toss up between these two for my favorite. The FH31 was kind of interesting, but uh, at first when I saw it, we got one box upside down, but mm, not sure if, if that's my deal. Although ceramic bearings, and a blocker plate for left-hand carry. So, no lock rock, no blade play. I got no problems with these. Nothing. This one I took apart and put back together again. <laughs> it's still good. Uh, they've all been centered. That's centered. Centered. We're kind of doing the Ganzo, Ganzaholic. <laughs> Ganzo extravaganzo. Um, yeah, they're they're all really good. I, I think I took this one apart too. There's no blade play. They've all been pretty doggone good. These are solid as a rock. Well, hold on, let's see what our lockup is here. Eh, 30%. If it's a dime's worth, centered like a dog. Um what am I doing with all these Ganzo knives? Um, having a hell of a good time. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, centered up good. No, no play on that. So, whew, uh, one guy was uh, on, on my FH11, I think. 
uh, video was asking, well, is there, are there bearings? And it's like, I think I showed the picture. But in any case, maybe it was only a couple minutes in. You know, we can end up divulging information on my site and it's like already 18 minutes in and everybody's gone home. I'm still talking to myself. Everybody's clicked out. They're gone. In any case, interesting knives. The bunch of them, right? So how crazy is the Ganzo D2 uh, thing and how much, you know, how likely is it to continue on in the D2? And why? I don't know. In any case, we're going to keep going with it. Uh, test the 21 and the 31. I'm looking forward to seeing what new models they'll come out with in D2. I think they're finding out that people are really buying the D2. They want to buy D2 blades, especially in the $25 price range. It's crazy stuff. Um, and here you go, just to... Uh, Finalize this one up. Yeah, this came off of Power Cutlery site, $24.99. So there you go. It's the FH31. This is the green. But you can get the, uh, like I said, carbon fiber. And just throwing more paper in front of you that you don't need because we've already been through these stats. But just pause and read for your information. There you go. Thank you so much for joining us, me and Flanagan. We'll see you next time when we come back with, uh, whew, God only knows what we'll come up with. It's always something different, that's for sure. We keep it mixed up on this channel. You know why? Because we love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.